Even this pouring rain is trying to warn me. Now that I have no choice, I'll keep going back. For now. And then I'll leave for Esprit Lane forever. I deserve a better life. I'm back. So I see. The prodigal daughter has returned. Prodigal... what? How is my beautiful Lorelei? Well, I had a weird day. I bathed an old lady been kissed by a ghost. And I will die tonight, someone's told me. Those old ladies always talk bollocks like that. Bloody mental, aren't they? Want to talk about it? Maybe later. I'm starving, and I stink like a dog. Well, you know where the bathroom is. But then I want to hear about today, yeah? Wait. Is that a black eye? Did he hit you again? Don't be silly. I tripped on the carpet. It's no big deal. Where is he? It wasn't him. He's in a pub, isn't he? Yes, it's John's night out. Like every Monday. You know that. It seems like for John, every day's a Monday. Ever since they closed down that stupid brick factory. He'll find a new job soon. Yeah. That's what he's been saying for what now? A year? Just let it go, will you? Whatever. I don't care anymore. After today, I'm just done. I know what will make you feel better. A nice dinner in a lovely hot bath. Go on, there's food in the kitchen. Yeah? What is it? It's chicken curry. Yum. Still raining. It stinks of cigarette smoke. little island of sanity in there is my room. It was my granddad's. This crying sounds awful. How can mother not hear it? I should check on Bethany first. Oh shit! Bethany! What's my sister doing on the floor? Did she fall out of bed?
right. Beth fell out of bed, and you didn't even notice. Sweet Jesus. She was on the floor? Yes, but don't worry. She'll live. So go and have another fag. A glass of sherry, maybe. Let's have a fucking party in here! Lorelei! Is Beth okay? Yeah. We're all okay, aren't we? We need a serious talk. You're just gonna nag again. Look. I know that things got a bit out of hand the last couple of weeks. I admit, but... Mum, it's killing me. Don't be such a drama queen. There's no need for that. Can't you see what that man is doing to you? He saved this family when your father died and left us with nothing! That's what he's done. He's scum. He fought for this country. Can you even imagine the things he went through in Afghanistan? I'm sorry, but he's an addict, a thug, and an unemployed piece of shit. And the only reason you're with him is that little fidget in your room, currently growing a nasty bruise on her tiny little head. It's not as easy as you think, Lorelei. No, it's very easy, Mum. Two simple steps. Step one, you dump John. Step two, we fix what's left of this family. You and me. I don't want to talk about this tonight. Yeah, sure. Let's carry on pretending that everything is great. I'm not gonna listen to this. Now go to the kitchen and have your dinner. And please eat at the table like a civilized person. Mom. I do feel hungry though. It's been empty a lot the last few weeks. Shitty microwave food. Thanks for the effort, Mum. You're the best. holes in the film lid. I guess I'm not eating tonight then. A secret drawer full of useful stuff. I don't need anything from the drawer right now. Did they even eat anything today? At least there are no dirty dishes waiting for me tonight. I usually eat in my room these days. So this is where civilized people eat. My little treasure. It never bothered me that I found it in the skip. Maybe now that I have a job, I can buy an iPod. But I'd still miss this old friend. Maybe later. It's my bathroom towel. 
I leave it here in case John tries to use it. Sylvia and me do not get along. She keeps taking my headphones. You are right, Sylvia. <laughs> nice headphones. But please ask me next time you want to borrow them, yeah? My safe little haven. Oh, I stink! I need a proper bath. These belong to Mum and John. I used to love my long hot baths. Then John forbade us to lock the door. What did she call me? A prodigal daughter? Did the prodigal daughter come back to cry for forgiveness? Well, once I'm gone, I'm never coming back. Ever. Can't wait, can we through? both doing my head in, but I know what I need. Junkie brush. This music is the only thing louder than the screaming inside my head. Oh, I don't want to wake Bethany up. Where's my headphones? Great, the batteries on the headphones are dead. I think there should be some spares in the kitchen. Alright, gorgeous. You smell like a brewery. Nah, I only had a couple of pints down to the dog. But, I bought a little bottle of red on the way back. Do you want some? No thanks. Well, that's more for me then. What are you up to? Just getting some batteries. Batteries? Nah, well, it all makes sense now. What does? These, these strange uh, vibrations every night coming from your room. These walls are thin, you know. They're for my headphones. No I need to lie. It's very uh, normal. You know, when a girl like you gets to a certain age. But if you need any help, you know. <laughs> Fuck off. Still proud to be British, eh?
Batteries are dead. Dead. That's batteries are dead. That's just flip. Flippin' fantastic. Voila. What a dream. Maybe later, it leads to the hallway. You're nothing but a stupid bitch. That's what you are. Don't What's call going me that? On? Shut your damn god woman. Do you know what the problem Hello? is? Hello? You. Bethany's nagging crying again. Always nagging. So shut your stinking For mouth, will you? sake, aren't you gonna do Don't. something? I'm begging you. Now what did I just say? You fucking deaf or something? I haven't done anything wrong! Oh, you know... Mother sleeps in there with that... man. It's locked. Dad gave it to Mum for Christmas seven years ago. I'm so glad you're here, babes. I've got this splitting headache, and Beth screaming her head off again. Please tend to her for me, would you? I will, but I just can't find her. She's in there. Just go in. the bridge. Perhaps pressing this button will extend the bridge so I can get to Bethany. What have you done? It's the wrong lever, Lorelei. Bethany! 
No. Morning, Lorelei. Do you know what time it is? It's like six in the morning. Yeah, I stayed up. I got something for you. Zach, you really shouldn't have. It's no problem. I just thought it's your first day and your first job. And my phone says it will rain today. So, here. Take this. An umbrella? Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. Thanks. I hope it brings you luck. That's very sweet of you, Zach. Right. I'm off. I don't want to be late. See you later, Zach. Lorelei? Yeah? Do you... Um... You know... It's... Uh, forget it. It's nothing. Really. Uh, have a great day, yeah? Ch cheerio. Interesting. Leave her alone! I can't leave her alone. She's holding some fucking secret and I want to know it. She's not even got a scratch on her. Why don't you do us a fucking favour and die already? Dream. It was just a dream. Maybe I'm being too tough on Mum. I'll try to talk to her one more time. Maybe later. I've only just come back. Mom, you okay? I want to be alone. Do you mind? Did something happen? No, nor would I. It's nothing. I just need a minute. Are you crying? No. My eye is still a bit sore. From the fall. I told you, didn't I? Actually, 
No. I'll tell you the truth. Do you want to hear it? Yes. I hate this life. I hate waking up to the sound of Beth crying. I hate John drinking all the time. He's drunk all the money we've had left till the end of the month. Did you know? We're broke. I hate this stinking old flat. I hate this bloody rain. Just raining all the time. I can't even take Beth out so we stay at home and she's bored and she's being a fucking nightmare. And <laughs> I hate your nagging. That disappointed face you make every time I feel shit. Yes, Lorelei. I even hate you. I'm moving out. And I'm taking Bethany with me. Don't you dare! I'll call social services if you try to stop me. And you know what they'll do. Is that right? Yes. You'd never let Beth go to a foster home. It's better than this stupid place. I'm her mother! Me. Not you, or anyone else! I'll give you one last chance. It's me or him. You decide. I knew it. This is all so fucked up. Let's face it, I am never getting away from here. Dad always knew what to do. He'd have said, imagine there's a secret door right here in your room. I don't want to go yet. I don't blame you. It's probably the most beautiful place in the world. Right here. Give me one of your riddles, Dad. A riddle, eh? All right. Listen up. My mirror image is never that far. I have five different points, like a star. While I have no mouth that I can employ, I do make a song when filled with joy. What am I? Too easy, Dad. The answer is hand. You caught it. You're a clever young lady, aren't you? Taught you well.
You're gonna get well, Dad. I know it. Oh, lie. I saw it on TV. People beat cancer all the time. Well, Dr. Myers is a great oncologist, they say. So who knows? It's gonna be a hell of a ride, though. For Mum. And for you as well. But you're big enough to deal with it. I know you are. But how can you deal with your dad dying from cancer when you're just 12 years old? Brenda! For fuck's sake! Come out and apologize to me right now! Brenda! Leave Mum alone. It's between me and her. So stay out of it. I said... Leave... Her... Alone! Sure. Your sorry ass mother has locked herself in the bathroom and refuses to talk. So I might as well have a drink and wait for it to come to her senses. I'm going away now. You happy? You will have a good chat about this when you come out, you stupid cow. Mom? Mom? You okay in there? Mom? It's not funny. Please, say something. I'm... I'm really getting worried now. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I need to get this door opened. But how? Mum's locked it from the inside. Maybe Zack will know what to do. <laughs> 